Okay, so welcome back. In this video, I will be teaching you one way on how to get the file handle of a file. So the first way to get the file handle of a file is using the create file a function. Okay, so how do we do this? So first, we obviously include masam32rt and then let's create a handle. Okay, so the handle is called file underscore handle and we need the file name of our file. So I have created a file here in our desktop called readme.txt which contains subscribe to jlearnph. So I provided the full path of the readme.txt in the file name variable. Okay. So the create file function uses many parameters. Okay. So, the first parameter is the template file, okay? So, the template file is a valid handle to a template file with a generic read access, okay? But most of the time, we just set the template file to zero or to null, okay? The next parameter is flags and attributes. So, the flags and attributes parameter sets what is the attribute of the file that we want to get the handle to. So this is usually just file attribute normal. Okay. The next is the creation type or also called the creation disposition. So there are five possible values for the creation disposition. So it's either create always, create new, open always, open existing, or truncate existing. Okay, so for more information about this, just look at the description below. Next is the security attributes. So, so the security attributes is basically a pointer to the security attributes structure which contains security descriptions about the file. But if we just want to get the file handle of file, we just usually set this to zero. Okay. Next is the share mode. So the share mode is basically the sharing mode of a file or a device which can be read, write, both, or delete, or none. Okay? So there are, there are four possible values for the share mode. It's zero or null, file share delete, file share read, or file share write. Again, for more information about this, just look at the description below. Then next is the desired access or the access type. So this is the way that we want to access the file. So for example, in this case, we want to read the contents in, of a file. For example, of readme.txt, then we want to put file read data. So you can also use generic read or generic write or you can also use both generic read or generic write. Okay. And lastly, we have the file name. This contains the file name of the file that we want to open. So in this case, it is C users Lester desktop readme.txt. Okay. Then we can just simply call the create file a function. Okay. So the create file a function returns. Okay. It returns us a value or a handle to the specified file. Okay. So this is returned or this is put in the EAX register so that we can store the value of the handle. We move EAX to the file handle variable that we have created. Okay. So this is one way on how to get the file handle of a file. So I hope to see you again next time.